I really feel it's extremely important to be coached for specific auditions. I think that until you're an a very seasoned auditioner that you can really come up short and let's face it it's a win if you get the job it's a highly competitive win in fact I think getting an acting job is harder than winning at the Olympics I always say that at the Olympics somebody there who's competing they can have a sponsor and they can have a coach right there before they like let's say go out on the ice and that coach is standing there and they're like looking you're looking at them in close-up on camera and they're like whispering to that person and you're always wondering what are they telling that person like jump higher spin fast I mean what are they saying this person been skating for like 15 years what don't they know well they're inspiring them in that last minute of psyche that you need to push yourself over the edge to be a winner I mean actors are lucky if they have the right address or a parking space for an audition let alone somebody like you know give them that added edge at the moment before so having a coach kind of set your mind in the right space and to make you bulletproof so that you can be at your best may be an investment, but it might pay off in a way that changes your life forever. I'm a strong advocate of having coaches for auditions. I think one of the best ways an actor can empower themselves is to make their own movies. Today, you can buy a video camera so cheap. And what I think is so interesting is so many actors want to be on camera, and yet they don't even understand themselves as a subject in front of the camera. They've done theater classes, they've done scene study, they've done a little bit of camera work, but not enough camera work, and you can even see it in their 8 by 10s A lot of times actors will blame a photographer because their picture isn't very good. And then I ask them, were you a great subject in front of the camera? Did you really understand what the camera was seeing while you were being photographed? This is a necessary image for them to understand. And I think it's great if you can make your own little movie. Therefore, you develop the eye of a director, you develop the eye of a producer, and you develop a better sense of being talent. Once you do that, perhaps you can then have your own demo reel, you can market it, and then raise your awareness in the industry. If that's not empowering, I don't know what is. I think that when a casting director works in family entertainment, they are more open to smaller agencies getting started. Um, our work is one where we do see a tremendous amount of talent, and it's it's interesting that if you were an actor before being a casting director, you are well aware that when you start out in the industry, you have zero control over the power or the relationships of the people that represent you. And so that way, when you're on the casting side, you realize you really need to open your doors more to people who are younger, trying to get their foot in the door, trying to develop marketing angles for developing their own network. So uh, maybe I'm the rarity that's willing to work with new agencies. Um, I think that if someone can try a little bit of old-fashioned style, maybe they email or they call up and say, can I drop by m my book of talent? Can I drop off a book of my clients so you have it handy in a pinch? I know it's hard to make lunches and things, but maybe offer a coffee. And if that's not possible, I would push for some sort of way to get your face in the door, say hello, drop off a package, and um, have a little bit of interaction. It builds trust. It may be a little old-fashioned, but when I started in this industry, agents would drop off a book of their clients, and I think new people in the industry would love to be able to do that. So there's always a slow time for everybody. There just is. The business is an ebb and flow today. So if you can somehow get through the door so that I have handy a book of your clients, I think it shows your willingness to invest in the relationship, to work the marketing dynamic, and I'd be willing to take a chance. You'd be surprised how I think my colleagues might be too.